Wow, Ballisti's Carnifex. Who knew? Let's go. Look at that stinger. Come on. Oh, wow, actually. My name is Jack, and for the past four years, I've been searching for the most painful, stinging insect on the planet. Now, I've taken the sting of the bullet ant. Come on, dear. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Giant hornets. All right, here we go. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Ah. <laughs> Cow killer velvet ants and more and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Now I've heard rumors of a huge paper wasp native to Central and South America known as the Executioner Wasp. Now this supposedly packs a serious punch. Join me as I answer the question once and for all, how painful is the fearsome Executioner Wasp? Now, step one is finding where these beautiful wasps are hanging out, with the next and much more difficult step two being actually capturing one without getting stung first. I just spotted the elusive, the gigantic, I don't know what that was, the impressive executioner wasp. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at the size of this. This is gigantic, look at that. Interested to see how painful this insect stings? So am I. Don't worry, that answer will soon be coming your way. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, everybody, welcome to the long-awaited Polistes Carnifex Executioner Wasp Sting video. Now, I just took a warrior wasp sting, no problem. So we're gonna see just how these executioner wasps compare. Because there are some that might have you believe that this is the most painful stinging insect on the planet. But as always, I have my doubts. So we're gonna try this out and hopefully we get some answers that I actually want. So we're gonna see, is Polistes Carnifex the most painful stinging insect on earth? Or is something else the most painfully stinging insect on earth? We're gonna find out right now. Let's take a look. Now, Polistes carnifex, the executioner, is one of the largest paper wasps on Earth and easily one of the largest here in the Americas. So I'm going to be interested to see if the size of these wasps allows them to hold a lot more venom compared to their smaller cousins. And we're gonna see if that has a difference in making my body feel the pain. Let's take a look. Now, these wasps, are predatory like all other paper wasps and they vehemently can defend their nests with this painful sting as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this very, very large wasp packs a punch. So we're gonna try and get this gal out and try and get a sting. All right, goodness. They're just like twisting and twisting itself. All right, here we go. Ready for the sting. Polistes carnifex, the executioner wasp. Supposedly the most painful stinging insect on the planet. Let's go. Look at that stinger. Come on. Oh, wow. Actually, that is definitely worse than the warrior wasp. Oh, look at that stinger. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, don't fly away. Oh, come here. Wow. You can see these are not aggressive animals at all. Such cool animals. We're actually gonna put her back in a container so I can get her back to where her nest was. But, oh my gosh, my arm, look at me. My arm shaking. That was a good sting. I don't know that I would rank it crazy above bullet ant, but it was definitely on par. That was impressive. I really, really enjoyed that. And we're gonna see just how much the executioner actually does. So, awesome. I'm glad I could get this for you guys. I know that I've been getting asked all the time on my other sting videos. I need executioner, I need executioner, I need executioner. 
Well, here it is. And I think it came out pretty good. Okay, a little five minute update from our lovely executioner. You can see I actually got stung twice here, my first welt, my second welt, but you can see I'm kind of flush. I feel it's kind of like my, it's kind of like, almost like you're, when you're hanging upside down, you know, the blood kind of rushes to your head. That's kind of how I feel right now, which is very strange. That's a sensation that I haven't experienced before with a sting, uh, but really, really cool, really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm glad that it wasn't just a nothing sting, uh, but definitely not something that caused me to, to lose any sense of uh, autonomy, my body autonomy. I was able to compose myself and I'm still able to talk. This is only a few minutes after the initial sting, but uh, wow, Ballistis Carnifex, who knew? Such a beautiful, beautiful wasp. These are so cool. We're gonna make sure to release these right back where we found them next to their beautiful, beautiful nests. But uh, really, really awesome. So here we are about 10 minutes after the initial sting. You can see actually two entry points of the stinger. And as you can see, of course, there is some inflammation. But at this point, there's really no pain left. Just so you can kind of see the amount of inflammation there. It's very high. It's not really painful anymore though, at all. No, no problem. No problema. This one still kind of stings a little bit, the warrior wasp. Ha, too slow. <laughs> All right, folks, so here we are the day after. You can see that the inflammation from the executioner is spanning maybe about seven inches. Um, it's a little pink, maybe a little itchy, uh, but not painful at all. Um, really, after the first 20 minutes, the pain had completely dissipated. Um, so really, really interesting. I, I don't know just because of how short lived the effects and the pain was. I don't know if it beats bullet ant. Bullet ant, my arm was sweating and sore and super itchy for a day after, uh, this executioner, not quite. So really, really interesting. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what this looks like in a few days. All inflammation and the actual site of the sting healed up pretty much the day after this, so we didn't really have any additional updates to give you all. No necrosis, no tissue damage, nothing like that whatsoever. All right, go, okay. now, hurry, go. Okay, you going? Yep. All right, so by now- right, I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay. are you willing to obey now fine for now okay well by now you've seen the full effects of the majestic and beautiful and quite large polistes carnifex the executioner wasp so i hope that this video brought you everything you wanted it to bring you i hope that you learned something i definitely learned something it was definitely on par with the bullet ant however i don't know if it quite takes the cake we might just have to test Vespa Mandarinia, the Asian giant hornet, sometime because I have an inkling that a hornet that big will pack a lot more of a punch. You thought this was all? Well, you couldn't be more wrong. On top of myself receiving a sting, my cameraman also took a sting from an executioner wasp. If you're curious to see how he reacted with the sting, be sure to stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled for the extended cut of the executioner wasp sting video that will be out sometime in the next month or so. Of course, always stay vigilant when Jack's World of Wildlife content is concerned. Well, there you have it. Although quite painful, I still found the sting to be extremely similar and equal to that of both the warrior wasp and the bullet ant. Now all three still rank below the greater banded hornet I was stung by while in Southeast Asia. But I'm so excited to finally have Executioner crossed off the list and I'm ready to find my next insect sting mission. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to help us grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.